it is the Math 33 here and today I'm shooting a video of Lila, my super giant Chimper Albino with a super giant normal which we call Big Norm. So these will be 100% super giants and for the first time, um, this is the first time he's breeding, he's never been bred before. Um, this is from my boy, you've probably seen the video of him when I first uh, opened them up at the store and uh, Lila is, you know, is, is obliging She's, she doesn't care and now what you're gonna see is the courtship this is the courtship she'll raise her he'll wiggle his his like leg and stuff like that around her um, around her tail and she'll raise it up and then he'll slide underneath Sometimes if you film in the middle of the heat, you might just ruin it. But he's starting to get the picture. He was checking out the, the tank earlier. Um, but every time she moves, he'll start to nibble on her again. There it is. There it is. Okay. So he's going from the other side. I don't think he knows what to do yet. But he's never been bred before. And this can happen again in a minute or two, or it can take an hour, or it can take a day. But eventually, you know, he'll do something. Just has to sometimes what I do, I don't recommend this to other people, but this is what I do. I actually always grab the male and I put I put him in position, but I don't let her see me. So it's a good tip for people out there who have males that kind of look like they don't know what they're doing. But normally she you know she's not fighting back or anything like that. If she didn't, if she wanted to reject him, she would have done it already. And you'll notice that at home if you guys get any rejection. And yes, that's poop back there. But when you're breeding, you don't really want to have anything in the in the tank at night. Kind of leave him be so he can get every opportunity to uh, get at her, get at her at your female. And he doesn't. Um, but this is for one on one. It's called uh, kind of precise breeding. You know what I mean? If you're looking for a certain um, certain animals to breed. But he might do this for a while. And he's not hurting her at all. As you can tell, she's not, she don't have any marks. Some males, though, can be really aggressive and really hurt their females. So sometimes keeping your, your, your males with the, with the females all the time is not a good idea. Some males are, are a little more, so, you know, so if you don't really want your female all scarred up, and he, he almost had it. He almost had it. She's raising her tail. You see how she raised her tail and cocked it to the side? Okay, he's almost there. All he has to do now is put his one leg over. And his hammy penis is out right now. This is how lep super giant leopard geckos make love. <laughs> nah, leopard geckos do this in general. But this is a giant normal and a giant, and I mean a super giant normal leopard gecko and a super giant moose line jumper albino. Thank you for watching. Sub, like the video, subscribe, and uh, comment if you want. I'm also on Google Plus, that's the Mass 33, so you can look me up there. Or Dan Rose. Don't, don't forget to make comments and interact with each other, I don't care. 
you know, this YouTube channel has always been for everyone. Peace.